What is going on, fishy friends? Rich here, Rich is Fishes, and today we'll give a little update on some of the tanks and talk about some water changes. Alright, so in my last video, guys, I moved an epistogramma out of this tank where I had a heater failure. Got a new heater in there, and I'm still trying to dial in the correct temp, by the way. I put the epistogramma that was up in that tank into a specimen container down here in this tank. Now, truth be told, I did not do what I said I was going to do on the video. Uh, I signed off on the video once that fish was in here and acclimating temperature-wise. And I completely forgot about it. I shot that video on a Thursday. I didn't remember on Thursday. I didn't remember on Friday. I didn't remember on Saturday. I didn't remember on Sunday. I was super, super busy doing some of my work to the kitchen. Uh, insert footage here. And by the time I finally got down to the fish room again, it was Monday after... After I got home from work, and as soon as I opened up my curtains and walked into the room, I realized, oh crap. And I left that poor fish sitting in that specimen container with zero filtration, zero food, zero aeration, um, and almost zero water due to evaporation. Luckily, the fish survived. No worse for the wear. Where is she? Where'd she go? And there she is. She's still doing perfectly fine, thankfully, because my own stupidity completely forgot what should have been a relatively simple task to remember. Make a mental note, remember to come down here and release the fish into the tank. And that was it. And I messed up. But thank you. Hopefully everything's okay. This is that cockatoides, supposedly. But a lot of people chime in on what this fish could or could not possibly be. I don't know, I'm still not sure what the hell is going on. But anyway guys, I I've still been super freaking busy. And, uh, there's not much else to say about what's going on in the fish room, other than it is time for some water changes. I've got my rig going right now, and I'm draining the 55 gallon discus tank. I'm going to let that go while I go upstairs and eat some dinner and uh, get my little girl to bed. I got the baby to bed. I'm waiting for my little girl to get home from cheerleading practice and I'm going to go put her to bed any minute now. And would you look at that? There's one of those rainbow fish fry that has actually grown out into a legitimate fish in the 72 bow front. So I'm not sure exactly what kind of rainbow fish it is. And again, like I've said, I've been so freaking busy I haven't been paying all that much attention down here. But I had shot some footage a couple of weeks back of a couple of Rambo fish fry. And there's the results. I mean, that's a legitimate juvenile fish now. That's no longer fry. This tank is in dire need of some serious maintenance. I don't know if you can see the trickle out of the AquaClear 110 filters back there. Flowing through the slime and the algae. But there's barely any water movement in this tank. And things are doing pretty well. That's kind of cool. That's a shock for me. I haven't even been uh, looking for fry anymore in this tank. And uh, I'm, I'm embarrassed to admit I didn't know that fish was in there because look at the size of that thing. There's one of the, the dwarf breakhawks rainbows as a size comparison. One of my Bosmanis. Unexpected fry. Always kind of cool. Not sure how long rainbow fish to take take to grow out and when I might be able to determine what fish spawned in this tank. It's very possible that two different fish that aren't of the same species or genus or whatever uh, could have spawned. Actually, that rainbow back there looks very bloated. I don't know if we can make them out through the leaves there. The belly on that fish is huge right now. Looks like it's trying to relieve itself. Hopefully that's not an issue. So I'll probably set up the tripod as I go. 
Hey, if you watch this long, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Leave a comment down below, whether it be positive or negative. I always like to hear what people think. Alright, let me set up the tripod and do some water changes and stuff, and I will talk to you guys later.